Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Crimes of the Future. So, Viggo Morrison, Kristen Stewart, um, that's all I recognize. Uh, it's about a, a world manipulated by synthetic or the environment synthetic or something. It can, um, there's metamorphosis, things change all the time. I don't know. Um, but somebody plays like a performing artist to show how his organs can change. And he does it in an avant-garde, artsy style. No, I don't know. No, I know. It sounds odd. It sounds weird. For some reason, I've had this on my list. It is 6.1 on IMDb. Only 8,514 people have rated it so far. So, uh, let's get into it. Find out what it's about. See if it's any good. Did I tell you it was an hour and 47 minutes long? If I didn't, I apologize. If I did, I apologize. All right. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Crimes of the Future. No check-in. It was one of those touch-and-go things, whether I was going to do this or not. This is a ex very weird movie. Um, it's weird plots. It's visually... Um, uh, I had a word for it, but it's... Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very hard to watch, if you will. So there's a lot of graphic kind of things. Uh, a lot of graphic stuff, um, and then there's just a lot of odd visual things that see that might give people nightmares and stuff like that. And, and I don't really want to. I was I thought about maybe just telling you one of them to see if it's um, something you would watch. I don't really want to spoil anything, um, but we'll decide. Maybe I'll do it at the end. Just to, just it won't spoil the movie, of course, but it'll, it'll give you that if. If you want to stick around for that, I'm not holding you hostage, though. But Kristen Stewart just came up in the credits. Very small role in this. I thought it was bigger. Um, Viggo Mor Morganson has a bigger role. And Scott Speedman. Um, I thought I knew him from somewhere else. I was trying to see, you know, but wherever. I think he's Grey's Anatomy. But that's not where I... I haven't seen that show. I've seen him in other movies, but I thought there was a different TV show. Who cares? His story is the one worth watching for and I'm not telling you that hey now that I watched it it's a 10 because of that no it made me stick it out to the end it was tough to watch there were moments where I was like maybe I turn it off come back to it later maybe I don't even finish it I have to finish it maybe I don't do a review about it here I am um, so Viggo Mort Mortensen so he plays uh, what's his name Soul Tensor and uh, you know he has this um, performing partner and really it's what it says but he somehow can create or for some reason additional organs get created inside of him so their whole performance is her doing an odd no, 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 doing surgery and pulling out these organs and everybody's viewing it right um, there's a whole piece about um, giving tattoos to different organs which has its own you know, plot line to it, and you can find out more about that, but that's all involved. And, um, you know, so there's a little bit of that going on. And there's a lot of different other kind of performance art. You know, he goes and visits another show. That's where you see some strange stuff as well. But as you can imagine, just that little bit is really, really strange um, and hard to watch. Um, and it's a very sexual movie. You know, they're, they're really into this performance art, so people get drawn into it that way. Um, it's just not like looking at a, a really good picture or drawing or something like that. It's, you know, so there's that side of, you know, visual stuff. Stimulation, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not that good at vocabulary, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's extremely odd. And if you can make it through all the oddities, the graphic stuff, the hard to watch stuff, and just stay in the loop. Now, Vigo was hard for me to hear. I turned on closed caption again. I don't do that with all my movies. It was just him I couldn't understand, and Kristen Stewart, but she's always low. So, I, I didn't need it that much just in the beginning. And because of that, I might have missed a little bit of stuff. But all of that noise, I mean, just for the um, Scott Stevens, the Scott Speedman plotline thing, I think was interesting. Um, so, I liked it, I liked that piece of it, but you have to block out everything else. I mean, everything else kind of helps the story, 
Um, and if that story is weird in a, on its own, um, all of this is, you know, unbelievable. Um, but, you know, they're talking about synthetic and plastic and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you get through all of the noise there and you watch it, that becomes interesting. I, I wanted to see, I wanted to understand what's going to happen here, you know. And uh, so I stuck it out, but, you know, and when, it, when, it, when we found out and we understood, I was like, okay, now I know. I wasn't like, oh, you know, I felt like I, I just wanted to know. That was it. Um, so I don't know if that's the way you're going to feel if you dare to watch this film. Um, I'm, I'm saying, you know, understand what I'm saying here. This is not like a family-oriented movie. You've got to be prepared for this kind of stuff, um, which I, I wasn't fully prepared, but... Um, so there's that, that storyline. And then there's, like, Viggo Mor Mortensen's storyline as well. Like, I mean, the guy's just generating organs and stuff like that. Um, so there's the... And then there's that storyline. So call it two different storylines, which are kind of intertwined. So we got Scott's, we understand, we don't understand, you know, I didn't tell you, but you know what's going on there. And then Vigo's. Now his ending was like, again, okay, whatever. One other quick thing to watch out for, because they talk about it, it's when he goes to see the, the organ ledgers, like they, they document, I guess, different organs or something like that, and that's where Kristen Stewart comes in. Um, but... They talk about how the world is absent of pain and, um, you know, disease and stuff like that. So it seems like people can't get diseased, they don't hurt, you know, that maybe they bleed, but they, it doesn't bother them, that kind of stuff. So um, I, I, it was mentioned and I kind of didn't pick up on it. I, I watched a little bit more. It doesn't play, I think it plays a huge role, but it's so behind the scenes that uh, they could have exploited it a little more. I mean, that's a very interesting concept. Like, how did that, I mean, how did any of this kind of stuff happen and all that stuff? So, um, very original. I'll say that. I, I don't know. This is a tough one. I probably have to give it to six because, like I said, it kept me interested to the end. That plot line uh, that I keep referring to was there. And... It was just so out of the ordinary, so crazy. Um, I thought it, I don't I don't remember this, but for some reason it kind of reminded me of the Doctor, of uh, uh, the Island of Doctor Moreau. I don't remember that movie. I just remember it to be very very strange. I have one image of it, and this kind of reminded me of that. But again, I don't even remember the movie, so. I don't know if I'm helpful at all, but I, I'm throwing up a big red flag that you must be very, very prepared. So now I'm going to share with you one image. So if you don't want to know it, and you don't want to be aware of it, or if you're, in, you're interested, you're maybe on the border and you want to know if these images will impact you, stick around. It's not spoiling the movie, but it is, you know, telling you an image that you're going to see. Okay, so you had your chance now. So real quick. If you're going to watch this film throughout the end, you know, besides the operations and stuff like that, you will see, I don't even know if, I, I can't, I can't do that to you. I'll, I'll just give you a piece of it. A guy with a lot of ears. I'll just give you that. So, there. And I won't even go into greater, it's worse than what I just said. And I'm not just saying like here, you know what I mean, like. So, uh, I don't know. So that's what you're you're getting yourself into if you want to see this. So I gave everybody a fair warning. Hopefully it doesn't give anybody. Nobody stuck around and didn't want to. But there you go. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, let me know. I appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in. Kevin's Irish Pop.